replacing the main frame and handlebar bush and spindle. The bushes and the hinge will need replacing over time. These and the spindle are wearing items. How quickly it will need replacing will depend on use. Signs you have worn bushings is indicated by radial movement in the hinge. You will need a torque wrench, a T15 Torx key, a T15 Torx key attachment, a hammer, a drift and a press. Removing the spindle and bushes. Separate the hinge assembly. Unscrew the hinge spindle nut using a T15 torque key. Hold the bottom nut to help drive the spindle upwards. This will help on removal. Then gently pull the spindle out. Undo the hinge clamp plate. Be aware that when you do this, the frame will split in half. There is potential for damage to the bike here and we recommend you secure the loose end of the bike. Remove the worn bushes. Do this by carefully using a drift. Fitting the bushes and spindle. Insert the new bushes using a press or drift. Make sure that the bushes are pushed in square to the hinge. We used an M5 bolt and a washer as our press. Align the two parts of the frame together before inserting the main frame hinge spindle through the spindle hinge hole. Tighten the hinge clamp. Fit the hinge spindle nut and align the flat part of the nut to the flat part of the main frame hinge. Add Loctite 638 to the thread of the button head bolt. Tighten with a T15 Torx screw until the bolt is flush to the main frame. Tighten to 2 Newton meters. The process is identical for the handlebar hinge, but please note that the hinges and spindles are different sizes for the handlebar and main frame hinge and so are not cross compatible. Be sure to use the correct one.